In 1903, W.E.B. Du Bois wrote, the problem of the 20th century is the problem of the color line. People in the crowd were ripping up a Confederate flag. Over a century later, this problem persists. With the evolution of our media, we are now exposed to daily images documenting the perpetual struggle for equality by people of color in America. This is the front lines of the war. As a society, we need to talk about race, but to do so effectively, we need to understand racism's impact from a personal, societal, and scientific perspective. And we got a long way to go until we feel equal. We need to understand the toxic effects of race-related stress. So Dr. Jones, all else being equal, don't you think the impacts of slavery would have washed out by now? Well, the key phrase there is all else being equal. And all else hasn't been equal since 1865, and all else still is not equal today. And there are still what I describe as contemporary, present-day structural factors that are perpetuating each of these initial historical injustices. I've been able to trace my mother's father's mother's family to Central Texas in the 1600s. Texas came to her family. She did not immigrate. Her family did not come here. And when we're told, go back home, what country do you come from? We don't want you here. It's like, you know, let me push back just a little bit on that idea of yours. I think that race-related stress are um, pressures and stressors that come about because of your race or ethnicity. And it could be um, external or it could be internal. Um, by external, I mean from other groups. Um, but I think sometimes people forget that race-related stress could come from within your own group as well. But in terms of racial-related stress, this is a depth of identity that's being attacked. Um, and because of that, it is a spiritual issue, and we have concerns about, you know, how this can negatively impact people over time. There are always these incidents of, of unjustified suffering, unmerited pain, and, and undeserved harm. The question is not, does shit happen to you in life? The question is, how do you sustain some movement and momentum in the face of that adversity? We hope that this video inspires all of us to work to eradicate racial inequity so that we can finally solve the problem of the color line.